So, we will discuss rotational partition function. As mentioned before, for monatomic gas, there are two, there are three degrees of freedom, like translational degrees of freedom, electronic degrees of freedom, and nuclear degrees of freedom. So, for monatomic molecules, there is no rotational or vibrational degrees of freedom, and we calculated individually the transitional partition function, the electronic partition function and the nuclear partition function. Now, if we consider the diatomic and polyatomic molecules, we will have two more degrees of freedom and those are rotational degrees of freedom and vibrational degrees of freedom. So, for, poly, for diatomic and polyatomic molecules, there are 5 degrees of freedom, transitional degrees of freedom, electronic degrees of freedom, nuclear degrees of freedom, rotational degrees of freedom and vibrational degrees of freedom. We will discuss rotational degrees of freedom or rotational partition function today. So, the rotational energy levels, so we consider here the rigid rotor model, okay. we consider Rigid rotor, rigid rotor models is the simplest model one can think of. And the energy levels for rigid rotors can be written as If we say or if we define rotational energy as epsilon rotational, this is nothing but h to the h cross to the 2 by twice i times j times j plus 1, where j, where h cross first we will consider, h cross is nothing but h by 2 pi, h is Planck's constant. I is the moment of inertia of the molecule and J is rotational quantum number or different rotational level here and the value of J varies from 0, 1, 2, etcetera. So, what is the rotational, uh, what is the expression for rotational energy level? The expression for rotational energy level epsilon rotational is h to the h cross to the 2, h cross to h, 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 h cross to the 2 by 2 pi times j times j plus 1. Now, first we consider heteronuclear dietary molecules. For heteronuclear dietary molecules, the degeneracy of jth level is 2j plus 1, we know that. So, what is the rotational partition function? The rotational partition function we can write as the rotational partition function is sum over j, j goes from 0 to infinity or j varies from 0 to infinity 2j plus 1 times e to the minus 
beta and then uh, epsilon rotational that is h to the 2 by 2 i times j times j plus 1. So, this is the expression for rotational partition function. And suppose this is our uh, expression number 1. Okay. Now, we consider now assume we define a quantity theta rotational which is nothing but h cross to the 2 by twice i times k b or you can write this one as h times b by k b. Okay, so, this theta rotational is function of temperature and this is known as rotational temperature. So, so theta rotational is known as rotational temperature. And the value of B is H by 8 pi square I, right? The value of B, this is not beta, this is B. Now, if we substitute the value of theta rotational into Q rotational, we get Q rotational. And suppose this is our equation 2. So, this is the expression for rotational partition function of heteronuclear diatomic molecule. Next, what we will do is it is found that or it has been it has been observed that the value of theta rotational by T is quite small at ordinary temperature. for diatomic molecules that do not that do not contain hydrogen atoms. So, it has been found that the value of theta rotational by T is very small or quite small at ordinary temperatures like room temperature for diatomic molecules that do not contain any hydrogen atoms. Okay. So, the summation of equation 2 can be replaced by integration at ordinary temperatures. Thus, the equation 2 becomes the equation 2 can be written as Q rotational is 0 to infinity to j plus 1 e to the minus Theta rotational times j times j plus 1 by t times dj. Ok. 
Okay. So, if we replace summation by integration of equation 2, we get Q rotation L is integration over 0 to infinity 2 j plus 1 e to the minus theta rotation L times j times j plus 1 by t times dj. Now, well, consider j times j plus 1 is x. So, it gives us 2 j plus 1 times dj is dx and when x goes to, j goes to 0, x goes to 0 and when j goes to infinity, x goes to infinity. So, there is no change in the limit of the integration. So, you can write q rotation q rotation l is 0 to infinity e to the minus theta rotation l times x by t dx. And this is very simple integration and if we do the integration you get q rotation l is t by theta rotation l. So, the very simple expression we arrived at. Suppose this is our equation number uh, 4 we consider. So, 3 we can consider this is equation number 3 here. Okay. So, this is our equation number 4. Okay. Now, if we substitute the value of theta rotational in, in equation uh, 4, we get q rotational is 8 pi square i k b t by h to the 2. Okay. So, this is the expression for q rotational. Okay. So, what is the average rotational energy of a single rigid rotor? So, the average rotational energy of a single rigid rotor is if we consider this is epsilon rotor rotational average this is nothing but k b t to the 2 del ln q rotational by del t right at constant v ok so what is ln q rotational so if we take log so, we have q, we have q is 8 pi to the 2 i k b t by h to the 2 q rotational is this. So, ln q rotational is ln t plus ln If we do the differentiation of this ln q rotational with respect to temperature, we get one by t, and the next term is zero, so we, we get one by t. So average rotational energy of a single rigid rotor is k b t to the two times one by t and it gives us k v t. So, this is the average rotational energy of a single rigid rotator. So, rotor. so, so if we have if we have a number of such rigid rotors, then rotors in a system then the average rotational energy of the system if 
we say this one is E rotational is nothing but A n times epsilon rotation. And what is N? So, N now N is number of digit rotors is nothing but N times N A where N is where small n is number of moles and N A is Avogadro's number, Avogadro's number. So, we get average rotational energy of the system is n times n a times k v t we get n r t as n a times k v is nothing but gas constant r. Okay. Now, what is the value of C v or the contribution C V due to rotational uh, motion. Okay, so C V due to rotational motion we get C V rotational is del E rotational by del T at constant V and we get N R. Okay. Now, for this is for a rigid uh, diatomic or rigid heteronuclear diatomic molecule. Next, we consider the fraction of molecules. Okay. Now, why we get a in NR here? So, it is we remember here, we should remember one thing a diatomic molecule has two rotational degrees of freedom. and each contributes r by 2 to C V rotational, C V rotational bar. Okay. So, what is C V rotational bar here? C V rotational bar means par mole is r. Okay. So, a, a diatomic molecule has two rotational degrees of freedom and each contributes r by 2 to C v because, because the rotation along the bond axis does not contribute much to the rotational energy. Okay. So, next we consider the fraction of molecules. in the jet rotational level and if we consider this as F j nothing this is F j is very similar to the probability that we considered before. So, this is e to the uh, 2 j plus t, uh, 1 times e to the minus theta rotational times j times j plus 1 by t. By q rotational. So, this is the fraction of molecules in the jth rotational level. Now, if we substitute the value of q rotational, we get f j is 2 j plus 1 times theta rotational by t So, this is the fraction of molecules in the jth rotational 
level. Okay, so it has been found that J equals to zero state is not mostly populated, rather somewhat higher J value is more populated than J equals to zero value. Okay, so what is the most probable J value next we calculate. Okay. So, most probable J values we will calculate now. And we define this as J M P. Okay. So, we have F J is this so d f j by or del f j by del j if we do it we get 2 times theta rational by t e to the minus plus 2 j plus 1 times theta rational by t times e to the minus theta rational times j times j plus 1 by t times 2 j plus 1 times minus theta rational by t. Okay, so, for to, in, order to, in order to get the most probable j value, we have to make del f j by del j equals to 0. Okay, if we do it, so we get 0 is So, we get 2 j plus 1 and if we do it, we get j m p is t by 2 times theta rational minus half. So, this is the most probable j value. This is the most probable J value. As you can see, the most probable J value depends on two quantities. One is temperature, absolute temperature, and another value, another is theta rotational. And if you go back and check, theta rotational depends on moment of inertia or type of molecules you are considering here. Okay, so. <coughs> In general, we get at ordinary temperature, at ordinary temperature, if we plot F j versus j. So, suppose this is our j equals to 0, this is j equals to 0, this is j equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. like this j goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etcetera. So, you get
So, you can see that j equals to 7 is mostly populated not j equals to 0. Now, all molecules are not uh, we have more uh, we have uh, molecules other than heteronuclear uh, dietary molecules. Okay. So, for homonuclear or the general expression for the general expression general expression for diatomic and linear polyatomic linear polyatomic molecules The general expression for or the general expression uh, for uh, for uh, the general expression for uh, rotational partition function, the general expression of rotational, the general expression of rotational partition function for for diatomic and linear linear polyatomic molecules is q rotational is t by 2 times or the sigma here. Our sigma is the symmetry number. Symmetry number, symmetry number where sigma is the symmetry number. And for heteronuclear diatomic molecules, sigma is 1 for homonuclear diatomic molecules. sigma is 2 for symmetrical linear polyatomic molecules such as acetylene C2H2 acetylene carbon dioxide etc sigma is 2 for unsymmetrical linear polyatomic molecules such as N2, etc. sigma is 1. Now, next question is what is symmetry number? Okay. 
So, we, we, will, we will see symmetry number and why symmetry number is important. Okay. So, we consider next symmetry number. Symmetry number sigma. So, it is the number is the number of different ways a molecule can be rotated into a configuration indistinguishable from the original one. Okay, like for suppose C 2 H 2. Okay, so, suppose this is our we consider this is C A H A and C B H B. Okay. Now, if we rotate the molecule, rotate the molecule in suppose in a clockwise direction for rotate the molecule like this along around this perpendicular to the C triple bond C by suppose 180 degree we get a configuration which is indistinguishable from the original one. So, we get two different configuration. If we rotate another 180 degree, we get back the original one. So, if we rotate 360 degree, we get two configurations. Okay. That is why sigma is 2 here and so on. Now, why symmetry number is important in case of uh, uh, rotational partition function. Okay. So, as we discussed before, okay. So, rotational partition function, next we discuss rotational partition function or importance of symmetry number, importance of symmetry number in rotational partition function. The equations 3 and 4, if you go back and check equations 3 and 4 are applicable only to hetero nuclear diatomic molecules that we discussed. Okay. Equation 3 and 4 are applicable only to heteronuclear diatomic molecules. The underlying reason is is that the wave function of a homonuclear diatomic molecule
must possesses a certain symmetry with respect to with respect to interchange of change of two identical nuclei nuclei in the molecule. This symmetry this symmetry requirement has a profound effect on the population of the rotational energy levels of a homonuclear diatomic molecule. At temperature such that So, when theta rotational is much much lower than T, which we have seen applies to most molecule, most molecules at ordinary temperatures. Q rotational for homonuclear diatomic molecules is right. So, actually, this symmetry number has a profound effect on the population of the rotational energy levels of molecule. That is why symmetry number is very, very important. Now, we considered so far rotational partition function for homonuclear diatomic molecules, heteronuclear diatomic molecules and linear polyatomic molecules. We have not considered so far the rotational partition function for non-linear polyatomic molecules. We will consider this now. So, now you consider the rotational, the rotational partition function non-linear polyatomic molecules. Okay. So, for the rotational uh, the rotational properties the rotational properties
of nonlinear polyatomic molecules depend on depend on the relative magnitudes of their principal moments of inertia. For nonlinear polyatomic molecules, there are three rotational degrees of freedom. We will see that also. So, the rotational properties of nonlinear polyatomic molecules depend on the relative magnitudes of their principal moments of inertia. If all now, if all three principal moments of inertia are equal, the molecule is called called a spherical top. If all three principal moments of inertia of a molecule are equal, that molecule is called a spherical top. If two of the three principal moments of inertia are equal, the molecule is called is called a symmetric top, a symmetric top molecule. If all three principal moment top moments principle, moments of inertia are different, the molecule, the molecule is called an asymmetric top. So, depending on the value of principal moments of inertia, the molecules are classified as spherical top molecules, symmetric top molecules or asymmetric top molecules. Thus, if we define, we define characteristics, rotational temperatures in terms three principal moments of inertia according to
So, we write theta rotation j is h cross to the 2, 2 by 2 i j times k b, where j can be a, b or c. If theta rotational a equals to theta rotational b, plus to theta rotational c, then we call as spherical top molecule. If theta rotational a, whereas if theta rotational a is equal to theta rotational b, which is not equals to, which is not equal to theta rotational c we called symmetric top according to the definition we just described and if theta rotational a is not equal to theta rotational b is not equal to theta rotational c then we call asymmetric top. Okay. Now, for spherical top molecules, the quantum mechanical problem of a spherical top molecule can be solved exactly to give epsilon j h j times j plus 1 times h cross to the 2 by twice i and g j degeneracy plus 2 j plus 1 to the 2 where j goes from like before 1, 2, 3, etcetera. So, the degeneracy for spherical term molecule is 2 j plus 1 to the 2. So, the corresponding rotational partition function is Q rotational Now, for almost all spherical top molecule, molecules, theta rotational is much, much lower than T at ordinary temperatures, at ordinary temperatures. So, the above summation we can replace by, so the above summation can be replaced by, by integration. So, we can write Q rotational like before q rotational
and we have the symmetry number here 1 by sigma. Okay. So, for theta rotation are much much lower than absolute temperature, the most important values of j are large. So, we may neglect the term in 2j plus 1 term, we can neglect the term 1 compared with j. So, we can write q rotational is 1 by sigma 0 to infinity 4 j to the 2 e to the minus theta rotational times j plus j times j plus 1 by t times d a and if we carry out the integration we get q rotational is pi to the half by sigma t by theta rotational to the 3 by 2. Okay. So, this is the expression for rotational partition function for spherical top molecules, for spherical top molecules. For symmetric top molecules, The degenerate factor g j is 2 times 2 j plus 1 okay. and we get q rotational is pi to the half by sigma t by theta rotational. Okay. We can here we can uh, we have uh, considered that theta rotational a and theta rotational b are the same. So, we can write like this and then t by theta rotational c to the half. So, this is for symmetric term molecules. For asymmetric term molecules, the degeneracy factor g j is 2 j plus 1 and q rotational is pi to the half by sigma. Since all three moment of inertia values are the same, so we get three different terms t by theta rotational terms here. So, this is this is the expression for rotational partition function for asymmetric top molecules. And we can we can see that in all three uh, uh, partition function expressions, for, like for spherical top molecules, for symmetric top molecules, and for asymmetric top molecules, we have t to the three to eight, uh, two terms. Okay. So next we calculate the average rotational energy of a single 
non-linear. polyatomic molecule is so like before we can calculate the average rotational energy of a single molecule like Kb T to the 2 del L in Q rotational by del T and we can write Kb T to the 2 and del L in Q by del T gives you 3 by 2 T for, for non-linear polyatomic molecules. So, we get epsilon rotational average is 3 by 2 k p t and like before if we consider n number of for n number of molecules number of non-linear non polyatomic molecules. we get E rotational is 3 by 2 n times k v t. So, we get 3 by 2 n at t where n is n times n a like before. Okay. And so, what is the average value of C v for rotational degrees of freedom is 3 by 2 n r. And for per mole, we get 3 by 2 r when n equals to 1. Okay. So, for non linear polyatomic molecules, there are 3 rotational degrees of freedom and each contributes 1 by 2 r to the value of Cv. Thank you.